Hello kids again. Uh, it's comes a teacher. Uh, you know we are doing our grammar lessons and spin book lessons together. Uh, we will go on our students' book. Please be ready with your students' books, your workbooks, and also your notebooks. You know that you need your pencils and erasers and everything as well. I don't need to remind you again. Uh, so let's go uh, to page on your students' book, page number ninety-one. As you see, exercise six. We are going to continue with the uh, unit again together. Okay, now we are going to uh, put the words into the correct blanks under the correct images, pictures, photos, whatever you wish to say. Number one is, you know, what is this? It makes you uh, see the people you talk or the, the people, it makes the people to see you through uh, online conferences, online lessons like video and our Zoom lessons. So this is web camera, okay, and this one is, yes, this is printer, okay, and the third one, we know all it, okay, I think this is your best sipping lessons, I think, because it's about technology, you like to listen, I know, and this one is the, what is that? This is monitor. This is keyboard. Sorry. And what is that? <laughs> this is the, <laughs> again, I'm doing the, I'm making the same jokes, but it makes me gums a teacher. And this is laptop. Okay, let's check the answers. Oh, that sound. Okay. So, if we wrote, let's go to the other exercise. I You can read the title, choose T for true or F for false. You're going to listen and choose the correct answer. If you're ready, let's listen. Hi, Brenda. Is that your new laptop? Yeah. I got it last week. So what are you doing now? Is this a new video game? Actually, it's better than that. It's a program that comes with the laptop. What does it do? It's really great. You can create your own game. Create your own game? Look, I'll show you. In my game, there are some kids with superpowers. I call them super teens. Then a robot chases them and makes them disappear. But super teens are clever. They can stop the robot and then catch it. This sounds exciting. Yes, and in the end the robot can become their friend. How do you win the game? Well, if you catch the robot, you get points. And this way you move on to the next level. What happens in the next level? I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. I've only created the first level. Hmm. Uh, I won't play the audio again. If you want to listen again, you can start video. You know, this is a video lesson. You can uh, go backwards and you can listen to the audio again. So you will see the answers. Brenda got a new video game last week. Hmm. Is it true or false? We can see all the answers, not to lose time. Okay. False. She didn't get a new video game, she bought a new uh, computer, laptop. Yes, she wants to design her own video game, and she started. In the game, kids chase robots. No, robots <laughs> chases the kids. Chase means try to catch, okay? The kids can stop the robot in the game. Yeah. So in the game, you have to catch the robot. Yes, you can move on the uh, next level. And number six, Brenda has created the first two levels. No, she has only created the first level. She didn't 
prepare the other uh, level, the second level. So this is Fox. Okay, let's go. This is very nice. Okay. It says, listen again, then use the information below to talk about a game you would like to make. Okay. We got them. Okay. Express yourself. In my game, there is there. Uh, kids, this is your homework. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will play the. Uh, I won't play the video again. Audio again. Sorry. If you want to listen again the audio, you can go backwards. You can rewind. Rewind means go back, and you can listen the audio again. After listening the audio again, I want you to write on your notebooks about the game video game game that you want to design okay in my game there are there is blah blah then in the next level you are going to talk about the characters you're going to talk about the levels and what you have to do you win to win the game like here like brenda i know you can do this please write this is your homework i will also write this homework and um, on the newsletter this is your homework for weekend okay this is your homework for weekend you are going to do this you can do this uh, after you watch the video but please send me your homework at the weekend okay you're all on friday because you know i'm sharing the newsletter on friday okay so we finished page number 91 so let's go past to page number 92 open page number 92 and look at the picture <laughs> this is something we are this is about the this process right now we are all at our homes we are going to school from our uh, through our computers through all the zoom program and we are doing everything through the technology once we, have, we were telling you please don't stay uh, in front of the computer so much and uh, don't use your phones uh, and blah blah but now we we are telling you to okay be be with your computer be with your phones because we are doing the school stuff uh, all because of the technology this is about the process so let's check this new technology computer work let's do the reading part Okay, listen and repeat. Can you find these words in the article? Articles may article means makale text. Okay, it means text. So listen and repeat, please. This, these are very important. So first, I'm going to uh, read the vocabulary for you. Communicate, download information, invent, receive side and surf okay listen and repeat please repeat i know i cannot hear you from here but you can repeat by yourselves i know you you will do it because you're sixth graders i love you so much i miss you communicate download information invent receive Sight. Surf. Okay. Good. Okay, so let's do the reading part. It's Sunday morning. You're listening to a song on your MP3 player that you've downloaded from a music site. Your brother... Uh, while you're listening, please, please, I'm going back. While you're listening to the reading part, please put these words into the blanks. You know what is communicate? I told you that one. Communicate. You know, download information is like data. Invent means 
if you create something new for example who invented the phone like receive means like email if you send me email i receive the email site this is site you know that and surf means uh, when you go through when you check the pages on the internet it means surf so please fill in the blanks with these words here i will start it again you have your book so you can see it it's Sunday morning. You're listening to a song on your MP3 player that you've downloaded from a music site. Your brother is surfing the internet, looking for information for his science project. Inventions like MP3 players, the internet and mobile phones have become part of our everyday lives. However, for many years, computers had no way of communicating with each other. The Internet made that possible. It was invented over 40 years ago. From the early 1990s, the Internet was used by everyday people, not only for business, but also for fun. People sent and received emails, shopped on the Internet, and wrote blogs. High-speed internet on our laptops and mobile phones has changed the way we work and communicate. You can find a restaurant in Oregon or book tickets for a show in Paris in seconds. If the present is so different from the past, what will the future be like? Okay, I want to correct something. You are going to put some missing sentences here, like here, okay? A, B, C, there are some sentences here. You have to put these sentences into these blanks. Uh, okay, this is your homework. This is also homework for weekend. And there's an extra information here. 100 uh, sorry 70 percent of chil children aged two to five can use a computer mouse but only 11 percent can tie oh my god <laughs> their shoelaces what is shoelace it is about your shoe shoelaces mean if you tie your shoelaces you won't fall you won't step on it fall more young people know how to play a computer game than see or ride a bike this is a true fact and you have to use computer and everything you even know how to send email to us uh, i'm proud of you so i want to remind you again this is my mistake you, you are not going to fill in the blanks with the vocabulary that i told you before you are going to choose the sentences from here to fill in the blanks okay i'm so sorry these days i am a little bit confused this is my mistake but please the teachers can make mistakes too forgive me please fill in the blanks with the sentences with these sentences okay so this is your homework and also and also on page 95 91 sorry this part this part is your homework okay this is your weekend homework and uh, bye for now see you next week actually see you on friday on our zoom lessons okay i love you see you bye take care